not by default, but you can set up your Keynote slides or files in portrait orientation. Let's learn how to set up your Keynote if you wanted to use it to create a resume, which is almost always printed in portrait mode. Open your Keynote and then go to File, New, so we can get to the template options. I can see that all the Keynote templates are set up longer horizontally and shorter vertically, which by default is a landscape orientation. I'm going to select something simple like the classic white presentation. I will add a blank page so that we can see how this would print. To customize the size of your slides, go to document on the top right of the toolbar and scroll down to slide size. Select the drop down option and click on custom slide size. I can see that the current slide size is 1920 points in width and 1080 points in height. The 1920 by 1080 is a 16 to 9 aspect ratio resolution for full high definition screens, but that would be in pixels, not points. Using points instead of pixels for the presentation doesn't affect the ratio, so it's fine. If you wanted to change this presentation to portrait orientation, we can just switch the measurement by putting 1080 for width and 920 for height. And you can do that with any keynote slides. However, if you want to print our slides in portrait on letter size paper, 8.5 inches in width by 11 inches in height, we need to set the custom slide size exactly to that so there is no odd white spaces or cutoffs. You can use any online unit converter to get that information. I will type 8.5 inches to find out the number of points, which comes out to 612, and then get the 11 inches conversion, which is 792 points. Now we can go back to our Keynote custom slide size and type in 612 for width and 792 for height. This slide is the right size for letter paper, which is what most printers use. It is perfect to set up your resume. Now our Keynote is set up correctly to print on letter size paper, but if you go to print, the default orientation is still set to landscape. So you have to change it to portrait under page attributes. Let's test it out. When I save this resume as PDF and try to print it, it does show up as US letter size in portrait mode. Perfect. Thanks so much for watching.